Hello everyone, I'm Jack Fisher and welcome to my world. And whenever I get a little personal on this channel, I often single out two particular topics. How utterly awful high school was for me and how wonderful my parents are. Now I know it sounds like I'm bragging whenever I mention my parents, but I'm just being honest because they really are that awesome. And I intend to belabor that every chance I get. And since I'm uploading this video on Mother's Day, this is the best possible excuse to get personal again. So to that end, I'd like to share another personal story that I hope conveys a larger message about growing up in general, because like it or not, who we are and what we become is heavily influenced by our parents. And that's definitely true for my mother, because I am very much the man I am today because of her and the love she gave me. Now, there are a lot of stories I could share about why my mom is so wonderful. Some of those stories I'm sure are moments that my mother would prefer that I kept private. And since I know she occasionally watches my videos, I think she'll agree that this is definitely one worth sharing because it involves roller coasters. And no, that's not some elaborate metaphor. This really is a story about me, my mother, and roller coasters. And yeah, it's kind of what it sounds like, but I promise it has other meaningful connotations that I think are wholly appropriate for Mother's Day. First, I'll need to provide a little context. This particular story I'm about to share occurred when I was around 10 years old. That's relevant because that was around the age when I finally got tall enough to ride most of the rides at amusement parks like Six Flags and King's Dominion. That also matters because both those places are a two hour drive from where I grew up. So my mother, being the wonderful, wonderful person she is, used that occasion to plan a day long trip to King's Dominion during a hot August day. It ended up becoming a summer event to remember. I actually went with my younger brother, one of my aunts, and a cousin of mine that I was really close to at the time. And again, this was a blazing hot summer day. But me being an energetic kid, I didn't care. I was just too excited. I don't even remember complaining when my mom made me put on extra sunscreen. So once we prepared for the heat, we entered the park. And after spending about an hour just exploring, doing small rides and playing some games, we come across a roller coaster. Now this particular ride might not have seemed big to most people, but to my 10 year old eyes, it might as well have been Mount Everest. I'm not saying I was an overly fearful kid at the time, but a ride like this was uncharted territory for me. And of course, my first instinct was to not go on such a ride. To some extent, that was also my default instinct at that point in my young life. I know kids at that age can be frustratingly reckless or annoyingly helpless. It's an age where kids still cling to the safety of their parents, but they're also starting to feel that inclination to explore the larger world around them. For me, I was probably more reluctant than most kids my age. Both my parents and my siblings would probably admit that I was a very self-disciplined kid, often to a fault. I did not like going out of my comfort zone. I did not like straying too far or taking big chances. I even complained frequently when I had to, as most kids are prone to do. But on that particular day at King's Dominion, my wonderful mother gave me the extra push I needed. She never shoved me, pressured me, or forced me in any way. She just encouraged me by getting really excited about the ride. And in turn, that got me excited too. That more than anything effectively overrode any fear or reservations I had. And thanks to that encouragement, I went on the ride with her. And to this date, I feel like that was a pivotal moment in my young life. I distinctly remember my knees feeling really weak. I also found myself clinging to my mother's hand a lot harder than usual. I, I think she even recognized how anxious I was but she remained so upbeat and excited. The thought of turning back never really crossed my mind. And when we finally got on the ride, my mother was practically giddy, but my heart was still pounding in my chest, especially as the roller coaster started ascending to the first drop. I was still nervous. I didn't know how well I hit it. But as soon as we made it over that first drop, nervousness was replaced with a wondrous feeling of thrill and excitement. I yelled out with my mom, but it was a yell of pure, unmitigated joy. And when all was said and done, I was buzzing in a way I had never felt before. Despite my reluctance, I loved it. I ended up loving it even more than my mom had promised. I remember getting off that ride, feeling dizzy and unable to stand. I probably looked like I was drunk, but I didn't care. I had so much fun and so did my mom. We actually ended up going on that same ride again. That roller coaster we rode that day ended up being the first of many. Because from that day forward, my mother and I became the ultimate roller coaster enthusiasts of the family. 
Whenever we went to an amusement park, be it King's Dominion, Six Flags, or Disney World, my mother and I would jump at the chance to ride the biggest, scariest ride we can find. Sometimes friends, siblings, and cousins would join us. Other times, they would chicken out. But me and my mother, we never did. And I like to think we took pride in that. Moments like that are experiences that I still treasure to this day. They're among some of the fondest memories I have with my mother as a kid. Beyond the thrills and the adrenaline that often comes with roller coasters, I also feel like that experience had a larger effect on me. And ultimately, it played a major part in how I navigated being a kid and growing into an adult. Because by taking a chance on those roller coasters, by doing something risky and scary for once, my mother taught me a valuable lesson. She showed me that sometimes we need to embrace a little danger. We need to leave the safety of the familiar and explore new, potentially hazardous experiences. No matter how daunting it might seem to us, the end result can be deeply fulfilling. That kind of mentality takes both bravely and even a little foolishness. And for me, a 10-year-old boy who still saw himself as a kid, I like to think that those experiences marked a major step in a larger maturation process. It wasn't just that I was now old enough and tall enough to ride all the roller coasters at most theme parks. I suddenly realized that my experiences didn't just have to be kid-friendly experiences. I could take chances. I could venture into once forbidden areas, explore life in ways I hadn't dared before. And yeah, doing that can be scary. Sometimes it requires little encouragement, just like the kind my mother gave me on that day at King's Dominion. Even after that day, I was still a relatively shy and reserved person, and I remained that way even as I entered adulthood. However, thanks to my wonderful mother and her loving encouragement to ride roller coasters with her, I understood what it meant to embrace getting older and becoming an adult. Now, having shared this treasured personal memory of mine, let me take a moment to offer this special message to my mother, as well as every other mother who encourages their children with the same love and care. Thank you. Thank you so much for all the love and care you give. You helped teach me how to be brave, how to embrace the larger world around me, and how awesome roller coasters can be. And for that, I will be forever grateful. And so, to my wonderful, awesome mother, happy Mother's Day. Thanks for watching, everyone, and thanks for joining me in my world. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, take care and stay safe.